Welcome back to Gale Bearers Repairs. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change the gearbox oil on this 2017 Honda Jazz. It's got the automatic gearbox or automatic transmission fitted to it, the CVT box. If you found it useful and informative, could you please like, subscribe, and share? Right, let's get on with it. Right, so firstly, we've got to get down under the car and take the belly pan off in order to uh, get the gearbox oil out. So we'll do that now. So we get down underneath, and this is what we see. We're after this one. We've got to get this belly pan off. It's very basic. There's screws around it and a couple of poppers at the back, and he just slides out towards the rear. So there's the two poppers I was talking about at the back of the pan. Very basic, got massive arrows pointing to it. So you just pop that, pop that out, slide the center out, and then that allows the rest of the popper to come out. Same here. And then all you've got remaining on this belly, belly pan here is six screws. One, two, three, and the same on the other side. Right, I've undone the other side of the screws. I've just got this side to do now. So it's just these three and the same on the other side. So that one, they're just Phillips head. They're only standard uh, Phillips head screws. So we just undo these and then the tray should just slide backwards. So the last one, and then the tray should just pull out. So we just undo it and then slide it towards the rear of the car, and then the panel comes out. And that now gives us access to the automatic gearbox, the CVT transmission, in order to uh, change the oil. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is drop the oil out of the gearbox. There's, so we're facing the front of the car. This is at the side of the gearbox. That's the drain plug that we're going to undo now. It's a 3 8 drive, just your 3 8 drive from your ratchet. So all it is, is you put your socket, your ratchet directly into there. So very basic, just put them in there and undo. I'll put you on a tripod for a bit of stability and then we'll drop the oil. Okay, so to drop the oil, I've got my washing up bowl. And we put a ratchet on and we just undo it in an anti-clockwise direction. So there we go, pulled him off, <laughs> pulled him off. And then we just wind out the bung and then we see what comes out. Okay, get ready for the money shot. Here it comes. That all looks, that all looks very clean. It's in good order by the look of it. So here's the plug. There's the plug. There's no fur on that. He's very clean as well. There's nothing. There's no particulates on there. Give my wipe off. There he is. Picture's a bit dark, but there's a magnet there. I'm guessing that's a magnet. There was nothing on there. No fur. Nothing at all. Here's the crush washer that you should replace so we've got a new one of them so you just take the crush washer off and then uh, do it back up right so it's been draining for like a couple of minutes now it's just still a slight trickle new crush washers on and then we'll just put him back in and then tighten him up So this time we're going in a clockwise direction to tighten it up. There we go, give them a firm dip, just to crush that washer. There it goes. Nice firm nip, and that's it as far as that goes. We now give it a spray with some brake cleaner. If I can find it, where is it? So we now just give that a spray down with some brake cleaner. All we're doing 
is ensuring that there's no we're ensuring that there's no oil left on there so that when we uh, when we run it up and check for leaks there's no old old oil on there so if there is any oil on there we know it's a new leak so that's it as far as draining the oil goes that's that so i'll now take out the fill the fill bolt on the side of the uh, gearbox which is what you fail to you fail to spill on there so we'll show you that now okay so that's where we were just now draining the oil out of the sump so then if you come around to the front of the gearbox up there we've got this one beside it it says honda hcf2 so this is the fill plug so when you're filling up the gearbox the oil when you're filling it up comes up and it just comes up and comes up and that is the level so when it starts coming out of there that's when you know that the oil level is full so this is a 17 mil spanner so we get a 17 mil spanner on there it's only a bolt that's all it is so we just crack that off so we just crack in and then we spin that loose so, so that's there so that is literally an indicator so when we fill the oil up the oil comes up the gearbox and then it just spills out of there so that's that's where you know it's full so we'll do that now we'll go up the top which is uh, actually a pain to get to so we'll go up top and i'll show you how to put the oil in right so i've been looking at this now um of how to uh, get to the the filler cap the bung the filler bung it's in the top of the gearbox there so it looks like i've got to take this air box out to gain access freely so there's a couple of pipes there i think one of them is air and one of them may be coolant we've got an electrical plug there a duct in there a jubilee clip there and a couple of holding down bolts by the look of it so we'll just start to dig in i'll see how far we get because it's the first time for me doing it so we'll have a look so we've got here an electrical plug just depress depress that he slides out and then there's a couple of these clips that hold the loom in place squeeze them push that comes out and again there squeeze and push and that comes out so that's that's the electrical side of it done i would guess um we've got the pipes here i think i think that one's air and I think the other one may be coolant. So we'll take them off. A pair of pliers, it's just little spring clips. So that comes undone, slide that back. Squeeze, slide the clip back. And then there's another one down there. You just slide, squeeze him. I don't think you're gonna be able to see there on the camera. I'll show it later on. Slide him back, so there he is, look. So it's the other one, that one, and this one as well. So we'll slide them out. I've got a feeling, and maybe a bit of coolant in one of them. So we'll slide in, and we'll pull up with the other. He goes into a rubber hose down there. Oh yeah, there's coolant in there, look. So we just get them out of the way like that. So they're disconnected. Get the little clips off, don't want to drop those. There's a large one and a small one. Oh, he's going to stay on, the large one's going to stay on. There's the, there's the small clip. So we'll put that out of the way. So they're disconnected. There's an air trunk in here, I think you just pull that. Just pull that off. Yeah, so he just comes off there, look. You may be able to stay on there and come out with the airbox. We'll see how it goes. So we've got that undone. We can undo the Jubilee clip here. 
that was a 5.5 millimeter socket so just onto the jubilee so that's taken that off of the uh, the throttle body so this is the air intake system the air filter housing so we'll undo that and that should enable that to come away yeah that's coming away now um i want that out of the way really i don't like it there get a little screwdriver Just peel him away. No, he's having none of it. <laughs> okay, so by the look of it now, there's a couple of holding down bolts. There's one here, the 10 mil, well, 10 mil head. And another one down there. So I'll take you off the I'll take you off a stand and have a little have a little look at what I'm talking about. So there's those two pipes, look. They just push into there and push into that one down there, that rubber hose. See he's got coolant in him, that one. So they're out of the way. So we get them out of the way. Then it's that Jubilee clip there. And then obviously the trunk in there I'm struggling with. The electrical plugs there. And then, it's not very good footage this. There's a bolt head there that holds the air trunking on and there that holds the air box in place. So it's that down there as well with a 10 mil socket. So gives you an idea. There's also a pipe connected down there to the air box. That one, that looks like it just slides in. I think we just pull the airbox assembly and it'll that will slide out of there. So we'll have that. I'll stick it back on the tripod and I'll see if I'll struggle to get this out. So I'll undo the 10 mils or the 10 mil heads. If it's 10 mil head, it'd be probably a six mil bolt. They're retained, they cut they undo, they undo, but they're retained in place, so they can't you can't lose them, you can't drop it and lose it. Let's try and give us a little wiggle shall we see what happens I'm not happy about this one here I've got to get rid of that get a screwdriver in there I didn't want that one there is it just in the way yeah there's a pipe down there right, so I'll give it a wiggle Okay, so that came off there, look. It's got a little rubber, rubber insert there. So when we're reassembling that, look, we've got to make sure that that lines up with that. So I've still got a rubber pipe connected down here. He's only a press fit by the look of it. I'll just get my screwdriver in. Yeah. Let's get my screwdriver in and on it again. There he goes. Yay, there she is. So that and now, oh, that's beautiful. That gives us, that gives us really good access now into the, uh, into the drain bung. I'll take you in close and show you where it is, or not the drain bung, sorry. The uh, refill bung, where you put the oil in the top of the gearbox. I'll take you in close and show you. All right, so there's the air box removed. Look, that's that one I was struggling to get off. He just goes on there. And here's that pipe down below that I said about that you couldn't see. And um, it was this one. And it goes to there. And yeah, again, it's just a press on fitting. There's no there's no Jubilee clip or no ring that holds it in place. It just push, it's a push fit. So literally when you get the air box, just tug it and wiggle it and it'll come you know, just give him a little spin out and he'll work his way out. Here's that coolant pipe. So that was the air goes to the 
that's the one that's for the, I'm guessing it's a crankcase breather. I think it recircs into the inlet. And here is that one with the coolant. It's just that rubber pipe. And look, that is a cooler for the EGR valve or the throttle body or whatever that is. So it's coolant feed to the throttle body. So you will get a little bit of coolant come out of there. Look, there is some down here where it's spilt, but to be expected. And then all we're after down there, look, this is all we've done this to get to, is to gain easy access to that bung to fill it, to fill the oil. You will see, if you look at other videos, to do this job, they'll get their hand in, and I don't know how the hell you're supposed to get your hand in there and undo that and successfully refit it. So I prefer looking at this job to get that air box off. Right, so I'll uh, get some oil and chuck it in. All right, so we're just gonna see how much oil we got out of this gearbox. This is a two liter, two liter jug. So that's two. So we've already had two liters. So we've taken out 3.2 liters. So we've removed the 3.2 liters of oil from that gearbox. That's a starting point to see how much we're gonna put back in. Okay, so here's the oil that we're gonna use in the CVT transmission, the auto gearbox on this Honda Jazz. It's HCF2 CVT transmission fluid. We've got the genuine stuff from Honda. Um, it's worth paying an extra on a critical item like this on the gearbox. You're not doing it all the time. So what I'll start doing, I'll measure off two litres in the jug and we'll put that in. Okay, so we're refilling the gearbox now. We'll take this bung out, this bung here. That's the refill and there he is. That's the bung, he's got a little handle there for you to get it out. And then what I do in these situations, I've just got this little bodge up. I've got a funnel with a bit of garden hose on it. The garden hose is clean, it's all, it's nice and clean in there so there's no particulates going in. Stick it down in the hole and it allows us to pour in the oil. So there we go, we'll just pour in. So this is initially two litres. Initially putting in two litres here and it was 3.2. So we've got to put a little bit more in, another 1200 on top of this. 1200 mil that is. So here's the other 1200. I'm gonna put that in now. So as this is filling now, we're filling up the gearbox and it should come up level with that with that bung we took out the side of the gearbox, that bolt. So it should come up level with that and just slightly spill out over. So we'll go down under and have a look in a minute. So there's what we took out, that 1200. Oh, sorry, 3.2. So it's two liters and 1200. So we've put in now 3.2 liters. So that should be what we took out. So we'll see whether it's spilling out over the side of the gearbox. All right, so we're back down underneath now, and there it is, that's the fill to spill. So you can see there, I'll put my oil in, and it's up level with the, with the fill bung. So that's all that we're doing. So I'd recommend, I'd recommend when you're doing this, get your tub there, because it's going to spill and it'll go on your driveway or the, or the pavement or whatever you're working with. So then all we do, is uh, smack the bunning, bung in. He's got a new crush washer on him. We just cork it up. I'll just nip it up there now and then I'll give it a wipe down and a clean up and then we'll uh, we'll tighten him. So we'll give it a clean and then I'll just tighten up the, uh, the plug there. All right, so we're just tightening up that fill, the port, the level, so we just Get our 17 mil on there. It's just a nut, a bolt, sorry. Give him a little tap up. 
that's nice and tight across the washer so we're good to go we've um got the drain plug in we've got the fill plug in sort of fill sort of level plug and then up the top we'll take the funnel out and put the uh, bung back in and then reassemble all the air box assembly okay so we've got the correct amount of oil in the gearbox now it was a fail to spill we've just took out we've put back in what we took out there's no leaks on the gearbox so we don't have to worry about that and it did come out through the telltale through the hole in the side of the gearbox um so now we'll get the funnel out and then we're just going to put the gearbox bung back in so we just press him in There, fully down. And that's our gearbox sealed up now. So that's it. It's reassembly of the airbox. So. Right, so this pipe was on very tight. It's very grippy. I'm just literally going to dip my finger in there. Very small amount. That's just the gearbox oil. And I'm literally just going to put a bit of oil around that rubber as a lubricant because... I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to slip in otherwise. So just a very slight lubrication there of that rubber. And it's where that air box goes on there. So it didn't want to come off when I took it off. And then we've got this assembly here. That rubber donut come out and that's that hole. That hole has to line up in there. So that insert goes there. So that's on there and there are little there's little tangs there that have to go into there look so they hook over to get the correct orientation down there so that one's seated correctly now I may just do the same there I may just put a very small smear of oil around there just to allow it to glide on Just a little piece of it on the end of my finger, just to allow that to slip on easier than it come off to aid our refitting. All right, let's chuck this back in. So we're going to slide the air box in where it lives, the looms up there, and then we've got these two pipes here. So hopefully, now, this should slide on a bit easier. So you've got to try and align that pipe down there, while also aligning this pipe here. So it's all inlet pipes. Oh, he slid on. Oh, that went on lovely, that's that oil. So that's gone. That worked in my favor. And then we've got to catch that coolant one and this one at the same time, basically. Oh, don't forget the, uh, the spring clip for the pipe. So he's got to go on now. So then we're catching this. And we're catching that pipe in there at the same time. So it's that one. It's very difficult. That one in there and this one at the same. So get him in. And then onto that coolant pipe. It's a bit fiddly this. So I've got it started there. And this one, yeah, we've got that coolant pipe started. Oh yeah, he's sliding up. It's very difficult to get that coolant pipe back on. So that's him, he slid up a bit more. That pipe down there is connected. This one here for the throttle body, that's riding in now. So we're just trying to get the we're just trying to get now the alignment here of the mounting bolt there look so we're sliding him over into the position until he's in alignment so he's caught i'll just lightly catch that lightly spin that on 
Yeah, so he's caught, he's in the, he's where he should be. And then we'll just spin on the other mountain bolt. It just needs a little bit of wiggling. Yeah, so he's caught now. So we've got the lower pipe there, that's done. We've got that. The inlet, where he needs to be there. Oh, he's pulled that rear one out. Oh, so he's nice now. Maybe he wasn't seated before. So he's caught now. So we've got that in place. We can do up that one with our, I think he was a 5.5, wasn't he? So he's in the correct position. We'll do up that one, our Jubilee. And that's for our main intake to the engine, main air intake. So we just nip that one up. There we go, he's had a firm nip. That's that one. We can now do our main holding down bolt. The, the 10 mil socket, six mil thread. These tighten, these are just nipped. That's that. So that's them done. So we've now got our inlight pipe clamped up. We've got the air box clamped. We're now, these two fiddly ones here. I want to make sure that this rubber hose is fully home. I don't trust it. So we'll get down there, pair along those pliers. We'll just grip him. I likely grip him. It's, oh yeah, he's sliding up the pipe now. But you don't want to over pinch this and damage the rubber. There he goes. He's gone on lovely there now. Beautiful. That's beautiful. So now this one can go fully home. Yeah, he's fully home now. And then to re screw these, you just open up your pliers, pinch them, and slide them down to where they were. That's on there. Retaining. And then this one down the back for the coolant. Yeah, he's nice. He's gone good. So then we just pinch that one. And then slide it down over the over the rubber. Making sure that he's nicely seated. Yeah, there he goes. So he's seated in there nicely. That one's seated nicely, so we're good to go. So now, just this rubber pipe, that little duct in. Can't remember which way he goes. Like that. And him on there. Maybe the wrong way around. <laughs> so that one there, yeah. So it's wrong. That was the wrong way around. So to be the correct way, five RO towards the front. It's a bit fiddly at this end. I don't like this one. There he goes. I have trouble getting that one off. And then we put the air ducting back on there. Make sure it's fully seated all the way around. It is fully home, not pinched. There he is. So I think that is that. So let's just double check. Oh no, it's a good job we double checked. So now we've got the loom there. Clip that one in. And then just snap him shut and you listen in for the snap. There he goes. So we're good to go. We'll start him up, go through the gears and uh, send him on his way. Right, so that's that done. We've changed the automatic transmission oil, the CVT oil on this 2017 Honda Jazz. 
We've used this oil, the HCF2 from Honda. Um, very expensive oil. I think it was around about £100 for five litres. Um, 80 to £90, I think it costs, so it's, it's expensive oil. But I think it's worth doing on this CVT transmission to uh, prevent any failures on it. Quite a basic task. Um, average hand tools, nothing special. Um, pretty simple, very achievable by your average home mechanic, I would say. So if you found this useful today, it's been informative. Could you please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next time.